everyone. Today is uh, April 13th. It is now 8.54 in the morning. 56 Ten degrees miles, out. Turn left onto Pine Street. 56 degrees out. We are currently in southeastern Pennsylvania. So good morning, Nancy. Yeah. Uh, we spent the night last night at a Cracker Barrel, <laughs> which was an interesting switch. We were uh, camped out, actually, in New Jersey. Uh, but we had the campground all to ourselves. And as we're sitting there talking, um, this big dude pulls up in a pickup truck right in front of us and just sat there and just stared at us for a couple minutes, which was really, really unusual. And uh, at first I thought maybe he worked there. But then the more I thought about it, the more uneasy I felt. And uh, the rule, rule number one of camping and RVing is if something tells you something isn't right, you move, you get up. It's, your most, it's our most primitive instinct. So on the way out of the park, we actually ran into a park ranger and told him why we were leaving. And he was rather upset because apparently this guy's been stalking people there for a while. They just haven't figured out who it is. So he asked me for a description, yada, 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 yada. And I explained to him. But he was a scary looking dude. I was I was concerned for our safety. So we stayed at a uh, Cracker Barrel parking lot. They have an area in the back of every one of their stores specifically for uh, RVers to spend the night. Uh, so we did, we got there around eight o'clock last night. Uh, we uh, had already eaten, so we went in and just grabbed dessert. Uh, peach cobbler and ice cream, which was delicious. We slept very, very well. So we're up early this morning on our way to Western Pennsylvania. Even though I grew up here, I've never actually camped here with Nancy. So we're gonna do Pennsylvania. This will be state number 41, which will leave us seven more states to do, which we will uh, uh, take on next month. So for Pennsylvania, this is uh, route, it used to be 147, it's now Interstate 180. Um, it's sort of a beltway off of 80 that swings through Williamsport. So we're going to basically uh, swing by my roots. I grew up here. I was born here. I grew up here. And uh, see if we can uh, grab some coffee with, with uh, a couple of my friends. Short notice. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't just show up and not call these guys. So, more videos to come. Till then, stay by the. This is my friend John in Monterzo, Pennsylvania. We came to visit him. I haven't seen him in 15 years. And there's his uh, pond. Looks like quite the project. I've known John forever. I think we first met back in the 60s. My dad's sub shop. <laughs> Nancy, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Nancy loves this stuff. This reminds her. A lot of her pond. Well, we stopped off in Williamsport. I had a nice visit with John, uh, whom you saw earlier, and my friend Tony and his wife Mary. Um, it was nice. It was nice to uh, uh, remind each other of years past. It's amazing uh, how fast the years go. So I think Nancy had a good time. Nancy, did you enjoy their company? Yeah, I know you did. So we're back on the road. We're now back on Interstate 80, uh, just west of uh, Milesburg. And we're about, oh, I'd say 70, 75 miles away from our uh, destination today. So we are approaching our destination, Clear, Clear Creek State Park. We're about two miles away. We're north of uh, Brookville and Punxsutawney, <laughs> as in the groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, Clear Creek State Park. We turned off just a bit early before. Looks like the fire hazard is uh, very low. Here's the park office, so we'll see if there's somebody here that we can check in. Okay, there's a fishing pond. They just stocked it. That's what the lady up the uh, at the uh, office was telling me. They just stocked that creek. Uh, fish. Okay, so we're headed to our campsite, campsite number 34. So we should be, uh, she said it's about a mile. Picnic area. 
Still working our way back to our site. There's a creek to our left. Absolutely beautiful. Little bridge. Nancy and I are probably going to come back and walk over. There's a fisherman right there on the rapids. Spark. Okay, 32, 33, this is it, 34. This is our campsite. So we're going to go for a little walk. Here's the uh, scenery. There's Calliope. There's Tessa. And here's Nancy. 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 And here's yours truly. Okay. So let's just go for a walk. What's going on, little girl? She's exploring. We're sitting here watching the Clarion River behind us. And here's Mrs. Crisos. Nancy. Yeah. Hi. hi. <laughs> and there's Calliope. Calliope. Yes. Yeah, it's Calliope. It's now 1641 in the evening. Yes. And we're just sort of hanging out. It's beautiful out here. It's probably about 65, 70 degrees. Uh, we had a little bit of a shower earlier, but now it's uh, it's subsided. So we're uh, just hanging out. There's no internet reception, so we can, <laughs> can't really do much except uh, enjoy nature and, and each other's company. So what do you think, Nancy? Yes. Did you like our trip? Yes. Okay. Well, which was your favorite state of all the states we've been to on our, on our most recent trip? I'll give you a choice. Um, let me just list them first, see what you think. So it was Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Virginia, Delaware and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. You like Pennsylvania better? Yeah. You like Pennsylvania better? Yeah. I like Virginia too. The problem with uh, the Smoky Mountains was that it was snowing. Uh, besides that, though, it was uh, amazing because uh, the uh, the scenery was fabulous, and those wild turkeys were crazy. What do you think was wild turkeys? Wasn't, yeah, it, wasn't yes. it amazing? Yes. I saw more wild turkeys those two days than I have my entire life. Um, it was an amazing sight. So, but I cannot imagine what it's like in the summertime. I think it's probably way too busy considering there's Gatlinburg there and Dollywood. Yeah. And remember how busy that was? It was yeah. crazy when we were driving in. It was it was bumper to bumper. It took us it took us probably three times as long as it should have to get there once we got off of route eight, over Interstate 81. But, uh, well, this is our last stop. Tomorrow we head home. I'm not sure I'm ready for that, but we're going home regardless. And then next weekend, we're going to uh, take off once again to uh, to go spend uh, Orthodox Easter with my son Emmanuel, his wife and his children in Philadelphia or in Berwyn, which is just north of Philadelphia. Okay, one last look at the sights. This is probably going to be it for tonight. Everyone, today's April 14th. Say good morning, Nancy. Nancy? Yes. Say yes. good morning. Yes. Okay. So we're heading out from our nice little spot here in uh, uh, Siegel, Pennsylvania. We, uh, this place is very well kept, and I can see where it would get uh, all kinds of activity in season. It's still very early. I think they opened uh, last week. There's a pavilion up there to the left. And there's all these log cabins that are for rent. It actually looks like the, they are being rented as we speak. Gotta watch it, I'm speeding. Speeding, the speed limit is five miles an hour. I'm going 15. But there's nobody here. Beautiful place. Somebody up there. What are these people are actually using these now? The nature center is actually closed. So, okay, we're on our way home. So we'll, we probably will not chime in. 
because essentially this concludes our trip.